Good afternoon, graduating seniors, Father Graham, faculty, staff, and all your family. For those of you that do not know me, I'm Professor Long. I'm a teaching professor in the College of Nursing in the AVSM program. First of all, I just want to say congratulations, seniors, you did it! <laughs> um, the last few months have been in disarray, but you did it. You finished the fight. You kept the faith. I am sure your family and friends are so proud of you right now. Faculty and staff here at Xavier are also very happy to see you finish your senior year and graduate. It's different than you expected, I'm sure. No horns, no confetti, no one shouting your name, no streamers coming everywhere. Having your name announced as Father Graham shakes your hand. We might have had to figure out that social distancing and maybe electronic arm or something. But we want to make sure that you don't forget what you learned at Xavier University. Do you remember in the beginning, we talked about cura personalis, caring for the whole person? Well, we've had a, a moment to actually put that into action. Even staying at home and keeping you and others safe in this terrible pandemic. I might be old, but this is the first time I've even had to go through something like this, and it's hard. But today, I don't want to dwell on the past. I want to look towards the future, towards your futures. You know you have the light at the end of the tunnel now shining on your faces. It's going to look a little different than you expected it to. But we have received, you have received the training and the education to go out into the world and make a difference. In November, I was blessed to go on a delegate group to El Salvador for the 30th anniversary of the martyrs. Some of the students in your class was able to go to the UCA this spring and experience these amazing people and how resilient they are. We are so happy to share their blessings with you and with us. In the midst of tragedy, they found unity. In the midst of war, they found love. Just look around. You will find love in your families, your friends, your coworkers, your neighbors, and strangers that you meet. The world may be going through changes, but God's love will never change. And our love for one another proves God's love is alive and well in all of us. So as you go into this new uncharted adventure called the rest of your life, Take with you one core value that I teach my students every single day. Cura personalis means the care of the whole person. I changed it for my nursing students and I, I made it care of the whole patient. Body, mind, and spirit. This includes their families too. When someone is ill, it affects their body. We as nurses care for the body. But what about, what are they thinking? How will this change their life? How, this, how will this be, how will this condition change my body, my mind, my spirit? The mind is so very important. We have seen in COVID-19 people having lots of, of depression and, and changes in their personalities because of being sheltered or in the home when um, they didn't, didn't have the opportunities to go out and be with their friends. We can't shake hands anymore, hug. How I miss those hugs. <laughs> I bet you can't tell, but I'm a real big huggy person. And finally, the spirit. How do we affect the spirit? Well, I tend to think that the spirit is when we reach into each other's soul and share Christ. It may be the end of the journey for some of my patients, but they are still in the body and need to feel peace, love, affection, or some kind of connection. My friends and family will tell you, I never meet a stranger. That's true. I have hugged total strangers on the street, but we are all God's children. Please take that with you. We are all connected, even though we've been disconnected for the last few months. Remember, all for one and one for all? 
Here at Xavier, we truly are connected forever. I may be here forever unless the good Lord calls me home, but until then, I'm here for you, and so are the faculty and staff at Xavier University. Come back for your next degree. We would be happy to pick up where we left off and continue your education. If your education journey is complete, take us with you. We are here when you need encouraged. We are here when you need a hug. We are here when you want to celebrate your next accomplishment, and we will cheer you on. I am truly sincere when I say we are all for one and one for all. Congratulations, seniors. We are so proud and happy for you. Go X.